No difference, we're, we're just pretty happy that we're not playing Sterling, really. Uh, we played Sterling in the last few finals and uh, had no luck there. Got in closer and closer, but, um, but you know, we're, it's, uh, it's pretty refreshing to actually be playing uh, different opposition in the finals. And, um, and uh, I think we're, we're really looking forward to it, because if we get through uh, semi-finals, uh, this is the first season at the centre, it's obviously... Um, Tried to uh, listen to the to the players and the teams, and then and put the final um, uh, a week later. And therefore, I reckon there there can be no excuses uh, for the build up and starting the videos and getting the crowds down. I think it's going to be amazing. Uh, two weeks of finals, I, I can't wait. My name's Janae. Um, yes, Mrs. Bruno. And yeah, I'm taking the fitness sessions with you guys. Um, trying to increase their agility, so their leg strength and explosiveness. Um, also, core strength and stability, so they're quicker moving their whole body around. So yeah, there's a lot of exercises I'm doing, uh, even ankle strength and things like that, so they're fit and ready and less likely to get injured. Six? Yeah. Six. Yeah. 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 I think six eight. I don't think it was any longer. Six eight. Yeah. yeah, since mid season. Well, can, can you tell? Because I've been <laughs> coming watching their games a bit more often and watching them train, and I definitely see their explosive power to go from side to side increase a lot. They're a lot quicker chasing the ball. Um, so I think what I'm doing is helping. I'd like to hope that. Daniel Mazzarelli. Uh, where do I start? Where do I start with Mazza? He's. Uh, He's a great captain to begin with, uh, very courageous, puts his body on the line all the time. Um, uh, see the play to watch, most definitely. He's, uh, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve that he's mastered. Um, he's very, very good down the line. Um, uh, above everyone, he probably wants the final more than everyone here. Um, had them on the final in a long time. Since South Korea was um, a young club. Now that we're a bit more established, I think uh, it's, it's our time. So uh, I think Luke and Mazza, the whole club, the whole club really wants this one. So it'll be a good final to watch. Let me say, uh, it's, it's, it's the lads you feel, I suppose. It's uh, the camaraderie everyone's got from each other. The coach itself, uh, Luke knows a lot about the game, inside and out. Uh, we've got a good social life outside of futsal as well. We're like a little family, so definitely, definitely the club to be at. All right, cool. So we're going to do simulation games, okay, we'll go for about uh, five minutes, uh, we'll swap teams, so I want to keep you in the core of players, I'll, um, I'll select eight players that we'll play against each other first, and then we'll have another team, and you'll relieve the team, yeah? can surprise <laughs> on a given day if they've eaten well if they've rested well if they've trained well anybody can be a, a hit on the day who's the danger player the, oh. <laughs> the whole roster <laughs> yeah that should be an interesting match that should be an interesting match uh, we're going to be training well we're still missing some players that will affect us obviously, but um, I, I can't see on paper any of the semis, men, women or draft, being uh, an easy game. I think the standing uh, of the SFL that's being played at the Hutsu Centre in the League just keeps rising and rising and I'd be surprised if any game finishes with a big margin. I think they'll all be close. Everyone should come down and watch the semis uh, because uh, it's going to be an amazing weekend.